Hello, and in today's tutorial, we're going to look at what a composite key is in SQL Server. We're going to compare that to a standard primary key. We're also going to create a table with loads of rows in it. We're going to create that key and show you how searching works and how we should create that, that key around what sort of searches we're doing. It's really nice and easy, and I'm going to run through it here with you. So first off, we've got Arc Music. And in here, what I've done is I've created a table called TBL Customer, and I've created in we've got like 2,334 rows. And to get this, I've just created loads of first names, a few last names, a few email addresses like Yahoo and Hotmail, some random numbers, street names, towns and counties. And then I've got a script that's just randomized all of those and put them all together like this to make up some fictitious names email addresses. Now what I want you to imagine, this is an Arc Music shop, sells musical equipment, and these are all the previous people that bought from it. These are the... So in here we can see, let's open the table, we'll open the columns, and we can see we've got an ID column. We can see in our keys, that's our primary key. In indexes, we can see that's a clustered key down here. And if I open constraints and triggers, we can see that there isn't anything in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select into TBL customer key, I'm going to call it, and that's going to duplicate all of this, but without any of the indexes. So let's run that. 2,334 rows. So if I refresh that now, we can see there's no, there's no primary key on this column like there is here. And we can see there's no keys or constraints, triggers or indexes. So it's a table with, I'll show you what's in there. So it's still got everything in there, but with no indexes. So let's create our composite key. So what is a composite key? A composite key is exactly the same as a primary key, but it's composed of more than one column. For example, full name, email address and county, that's our key, there's three of them, it's composed of those three, so that's a composite key. Whereas in this table here, it's just an ID column, so that's just your standard primary key. So let's run this. That's completed, and now if we refresh this, we can see our primary key is made up of these three here. Likewise, we can see in here, And we'll see it there too. Now, if I select from TBL customer key, now remember when I select it from customer, if you look at the ordering of it, it's ordered by ID, because that's my primary key. Now, customer key, how do you think that would be ordered if I was to run that? That's going to be ordered by full name. This is all in order here. So if you notice the IDs are in a random order, full name is all in order. So the question is, how do we decide what we put into our composite key? That's a question that you need to answer really. So we need to find out what's in the table and how people are gonna search for that. So in this example, it's a music shop. These are people that have ordered stuff before and they might have returned. And so we need to, most likely, we're gonna look on the system to see we'd search by their full name. So full name is gonna be in our key. We, we aren't gonna search by an ID. Unlikely would search by Berkshire, unlikely would search by Hampshire or by any county at all. So we're going to put, we're going to do it by by full name. So I'm going to scroll down here. If I run this and have a look how this searches. So this is searching. It's doing index seek. That's exactly what we want. SQL Server wants to look through the index and seek out the exact row that we're after. And if you look at the estimated subtree cost, it's about halfway down in the top section, 0 0.003. Number of rows that it read, just read one row. Perfect, that's exactly what we want when we're doing a search. Now if I looked at TBL Customer, which was the original table that had the primary key on the ID column, and I looked, this is doing a scan. So a scan is when SQL Server will look and say, 
I'm not sure where it is, I'm going to have to look over the whole index. So if you look at the number of rows red, which is three quarters of the way down, right near my mouse, 2,334 rows. That's a whole table. It's scanned the whole table to find the row that we want. And the cost is 0 0.05, so a lot more expensive. SQL Server's going to have to do a lot more work to get exactly the same bit of information. So if this is how we're searching, great, this, this clustered key is perfect. Now if I move it down here and I search by email address, now remember we've got email address in our clustered key, but it's not first, it's second. SQL Server still will not know where that row is. So we'll do a scan again, and it's still doing 2,334 rows it's reading because it doesn't know. The way SQL will do it, it will say the whole table is ordered by full name, then it will look for email address, then it will look for county. So if we're searching for county or email address without the full name in there, it won't know where it is. But it's not all bad. We can put that straight back in. It doesn't have to be in any order in the where clause. SQL will know straight away. It will seek it out. One row. Nice small cost. And I hope that explains what a composite key is in SQL Server. Basically, it's a primary key with more than one column. Any questions, let me know in the comments below because it's a broad subject, but I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.